Greetings and salutations. Thank you for lending an ear to The Voice of the Times. This Monday, March 15, 2021. For today's editorial, government must avoid knee-jerk response to sudden rise in COVID-19 cases. The nation faces today a crucial fork in the road in its struggle against the coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19 pandemic, one wherein it must choose between thoughtful study of the situation and panicky response. This trial has arisen because of the report by the Department of Health, or DOH, that last March 13, the country recorded one of the highest numbers of new COVID-19 cases in one day, during the pandemic with 5,000 new cases or infections. This is the highest daily record since August 2020. The DOH said the figure was the fourth highest daily COVID infections during the health emergency. The country last hit 5,000 new cases on August 26, 2020 when it tallied 5,277 cases. With the latest count, the country now has a total of 616, 611 infections. Of these, 56,679 are classified as active cases. The health department explained that more than 97% of these active cases remained mild, moderate, and asymptomatic, while the rest were severe or critical. As of March 13 also, there are now 547 166 recoveries and 12,766 deaths. The positivity rate is also high at 12.8%. 3,900 of the 30,456 samples tested were found to be positive. More significant, the country has also detected its first case of the highly contagious coronavirus variant first identified in Brazil. A Filipino returning from Brazil tested positive for the P1 variant, the DOH said last Saturday. It also reported that 59 new infections of the B117 variant first identified in the United Kingdom and 32 cases of the B1351 cases detected in South Africa. This brings cases of these last two variants to 177 and 90 respectively. The renewed surge in COVID-19 infections has prompted Metro Manila mayors to impose an evening-to-dawn curfew until the end of March and remind the populace to continue to faithfully adhere to health protocols. How should the government respond to this untoward development in the pandemic situation? We think it reassuring and commendable that the DOH, as the lead agency in fighting the pandemic, has responded thoughtfully and professionally to the challenge. It has worked hard to find the facts behind the case situation, and it has striven to understand the problem in the context of the nation's year-long ordeal against COVID, and with appreciation of the dire effects on the economy by misguided policies. The health department has been careful to avoid an automatic or knee-jerk response to the problem of increasing cases. It has been mindful of the public panic that it would cause if it sounds a public alarm and grasps desperately at quick measures to stop the virus. Constant and consistent adherence to the minimum public health standards will prevent transmission of these new variants, the DOH said. This approach stands in marked contrast to the preferred counsel of one group called Octo Research that blithely urges the government to impose a two-week enhanced community quarantine in the country as a breaker in the surge in cases. This is alarmist talk and fear-mongering by people who have no role to play in the country's COVID program. The government should rather put its trust and faith in medical professionals and scientists who are today already in the front lines actively fighting the disease. Alarmists have also suggested that the surge in cases has been fueled by the presence of the three new variants of the virus in the country. They characterize the surge as astronomical and dramatic. If they are serious, we urge them to come out in public and submit themselves to questioning by the media on their credentials and their research, if they have any. Talk is cheap, and publicity seeking is a stock trade of many among us. As we see it, government policymakers must seek the solution in the facts of our pandemic situation. The DOH is on the right track in hewing closely to the facts as it finds them. It is not lost to us that the fearmongers at Okta have not uncovered facts by patient research or testing. They only extrapolate and speculate from the facts and figures painstakingly compiled and studied by the DOH. Why then should the public give credence or importance to their persistent and always dire predictions? 
And that's the editorial for Monday, March 15, 2021. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print. Subscribe to our digital edition or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And listen to The Voice of the Times.